Hi guys! I know I haven't been around in a while and I'm going to maybe address that in another video. Not sure because a lot of it is not my story. And I think people should be able to tell their own stories. Today, however, apple cider vinegar. Y'all, I got the jelly-like substance mother, SCOBY. If you're making that kombucha stuff that is not my forte, but anyway, let me show you what it looks like. And then we're going to discuss how to get one. Now there's about three in here. I'm going to have to move this up. In fact, there's like two attached to this. You see that? I finally got them. And there's more here in the bottom. Many of them in here. And I'm just going to keep growing them. So, I had tried to make this for a long period of time. Never got it to work. I always got the mother in the bottom. You know, the bits and the brown and stuff that floats there. But I was watching Fouch Family. Y'all got to go check out Esther. I'm telling you. Love their channel. But um, if you don't know who they are, I'm going to drop a link um, underneath the video. What you're going to need for this is a clean jar. You're going to need some unpasteurized apple juice preferably organic if you can get it I found some at my grocery store and I am sorry I know they sell the brand name in several stores but it's just not coming to mind the name of it but oh my goodness it tastes amazing even just to drink it so what I did was I filled up this jar um, pretty pretty full of the apple juice and then what you do to that is I added about an eighth of a cup of the Braggs. Ah, about an eighth a cup of this. And um, I cover it with a coffee filter and a canning jar ring. And you have to be patient and let it grow. Of course this isn't going to go on easy for me now. It would if I weren't filming though. One more time. I'll get it later. Anyway, I use a coffee filter and I put it in um, a cool, dark place. And I just was checking on it. Um, Esther had said it would take about six weeks or so to grow according to how cool it was. I have a room that stays probably about... Um, 70, 68, 70 degrees all the time year round and so I just put it in there and it's nice and dark and five weeks in when I picked it up I started noticing they were in there so this I still have it sitting in there I'm just letting it keep on because these these scobies will multiply I don't know if you call them scobies when they're in apple cider vinegar but anyway they worked to start your own take a scoby out Put it in a clean jar, fill it with some apple juice, and let it sit again. And you will have your own apple cider vinegar. I have not yet tested the pH on this, um, but I'm going to. And we'll see how that goes. And I am pretty thrilled because I've been trying to grow these for years, and it never worked. I did do get the mothers, like I said, just not these jelly-like substances and... I really want those. They'll keep, they'll keep indefinitely as long as you keep, you know, as long as you keep them in vinegar or apple juice, whatever. And um, I may try a jar with one of them with some apple scraps as they come into season this fall. But we'll see. So that's what I have for you today. And if anybody's a raving lunatic like I am that wanted to grow one of these on their own. Give this one a shot. It worked for for Miss Esther. Worked for me. Yay. And hopefully it'll work for you. You'll have a wonderful day. God bless you.